What's up, everybody? This is my ring of honor. Death before dishonor. 2018 predictions. Only six matches. Six matches booked for the card. They'll probably add one or two more. Who knows? By the way, death before dishonor is this Friday night on pay-per-view or on the Fight TV app or on uh, the Honor, Honor Club, Ring of Honor's Honor Club service. You can get it on there also. So six matches down. By the way, I believe Friday's the 28th. I think, or 28th or 26th. Anyway, it's, it's this Friday on pay-per-view. Death before dishonor 28. 2018. What am I saying? 28. 2018. Up first, the Ring of Honor Television Championship on the line. Uh, no Ring of Honor tag titles on the line. Or six-man titles. That's kind of weird. Anyways, Ring of Honor TV title. Punishment Martinez. I'm a fan of the guy. I think he's a really good big man. Punishment Martinez defends against Chris Sabin. Chris Sabin will put up a good fight, but I doubt he wins. I'm going with my prediction is Punishment Martinez will retain. Up next, we have Kenny King taking on Jushin Thunder Lager, Japan legend, Japanese legend, New Japan pro wrestling legend, Jushin Thunder Lager taking on Kenny King. I predict Jushin Thunder Lager. Oh, as a kid, Really young kid, I first saw Jushin Thunder Lager in WCW in 1991. And I was really, really just mesmerized and fascinated with Jushin Thunder Lager. The, his look, his mask, his gear, his mask, would he would have uh, different color gear. It was pretty damn cool. Jushin Thunder Lager looks like a superhero come to life. I don't know how old he is. I believe he's in his 50s. The guy's still in great, phenomenal shape. So Jushin Thunder Lager, I think, wins against Kenny King. Ring of Honors, Women of Honor title on the line. I believe it's the first... Not the first, I believe the second Ring of Honor pay-per-view where the Women of Honor title is on the line. The champion, I always have a hard time saying her first name. Semi, Semi Sukai, the Women of Honor champion defending against Tennille Dashwood, formerly Emma in WWE. Tennille Dashwood, very good. Very, very good in the ring. WWE outside of NXT. Misused her. Really underutilized Emma in WWE on the main roster. They dropped the ball with her. So anyways, seemed like they were kind of giving Emma a push when she was on a TLC pay-per-view on the main roster against Asuka. And she had a good match with Asuka, and then they released her. Just weird. Maybe she asked for the release. I don't know. But uh, Semi Sukai defends against Tennille Dashwood, I predict. Probably won't happen because uh, 
Sukai has been champion for only like maybe four months. Or I think since best in the world, I think. So like four months or three months, she's been a women of honor champion. Still, I predict Tineo Dashwood. Up next, we got a fatal four-way, a four-way tables match. Flip Gordon. Take on Silas Young, Bully Ray, and Colt Cabana in a four-way tables match. I predict Flip Gordon wins. Nothing against Bully Ray. He's a legend. Watch they have him win, but I pick Flip Gordon. So now for the ring up, or let's go with the 10-man tag. Bullet Club, 10-man tag. I don't think it'll be the main event. I think the Ring of Honor World title should be the main event and will be. 10-man tag, the Bullet Club, Cody, Adam Page, Hangman Page, Marty Skrull, and the Young Bucks take on Chaos from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Okada, Chuck E. T., Trent Beretta, Rocky Romero, and... God, how do you say this guy's name? Uh, Tamahashi Ishimori, I believe. Or Tamahashi Ishimori, I think, is part of the Chaos team. Against Trent Beretta, Rocky Romero, Chucky e. T. Okada, and I believe Ishimori. Or Ishi, Tash, Tamahashi Ishi, I forget the guy's name. I don't watch New Japan Pro Wrestling that much. Only for like really big events I watch them. I watch Wrestle Kingdom. I watch the Super J Cup Finals. I watch that show. I watched the show from San Francisco. Cody against Kenny Omega. I believe it's called Dominion. I think. So I haven't watched a New Japan show since I believe June or July. So I'm sorry, I apologize if I get some of the New Japan guys' names wrong. I don't watch New Japan that much to hear their names. So anyways, I got the Bullet Club winning the 10-man tag. It should be really good. Now to the main event. Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Jay Lethal defends against Will Ospreay. Should be really good. I don't see Will Ospreay winning the Ring of Honor World title. I don't believe he even has a contract with Ring of Honor. I believe he's still a part of New Japan Pro Wrestling full-time. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know Will Ospreay's contract situation. I don't know if he's with New Japan full-time or if he's going to Ring of Honor or not. Even though a lot of New Japan talent is on this pay-per-view. I predict Jay Lethal wins and retains. And he should. He's a good world champion. He's a great worker. I believe Jay Lethal will hold on to the Ring of Honor world title going into Madison Square Garden. In April of 2019. And I just want to address. That uh, some people. Have been saying that. I don't know if it's just fans. Some people have been saying. That New Japan Pro Wrestling has been using Ring of Honor. Just to get in Madison Square Garden. That New Japan used Ring of Honor in their relationship just to get in Madison Square Garden. I don't believe that's true. That's stupid thinking. I just don't believe it's true. I don't think New Japan would do that and use Ring of Honor. I don't think so. 
They don't need to use Ring of Honor. They have their own fan base. They have their own great talent. New Japan does not need Ring of Honor to succeed. The same goes for Ring of Honor. They don't need New Japan to succeed either. It really helps them that they can are able to use New Japan talent on their TV and pay-per-views. It really helps Ring of Honor, in my opinion. And it's good. It's a good thing for both companies to basically join forces and have both talent from both companies under their umbrella. It's awesome. Just like uh, Impact Wrestling is letting a lot of their talent work indies. And uh, Pentagon, Ray Phoenix work for Impact. They also work for Major League Wrestling. They also work for Lucha Underground. So it's great. I don't think uh, Impact would ever let their talent work for Ring of Honor or WWE. But who the hell knows? Maybe someday Impact and Ring of Honor will have a relationship. Maybe Impact and New Japan will get a relationship going, but I doubt it. Because Ring of Honor and New Japan already have a relationship. Just saying Don Callis is uh, in control of Impact, running things. He probably knows a lot of people in New Japan. He knows Kenny Omega. He knows Jericho. And uh, I do believe Jericho is the New Japan Pro Wrestling, still the Intercontinental Champion, has and defended it, I don't think, once yet. But I do believe Jericho will work Impact Wrestling. You could call Jericho a New Japan guy because he's their Intercontinental Champ. I do believe Jericho will work Bound for Glory. That's just my opinion. Also, uh, maybe when Kenny Omega, when his contract's up with New Japan, maybe he'll work for Impact. I don't know. But on uh, the Jericho Cruise, you are going to have Impact Wrestling against the Bullet Club. That's pretty awesome. I wish I could see that. So anyways, this was my Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor 2018 predictions. What are your predictions? Leave them in the comments or tweet me them on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want. I will do after the pay-per-view Friday night. I will do a Death Before Dishonor review, so look for that on my channel late Friday night. Bye for now, everybody.